Hi Scrubs, hope you're well. So this video is requested by Noah Stell and also by Fabulous Tessa. So I'm back on Horse Aiden Eventing. I've done a few new things which I'm going to show you and not everything I can continue yet because uh, of the season in game particularly. Um, at the moment I have been trying to cut down some of my horses so I've got a couple that I'm selling. I have set up my cross country, my show jumping and my dressage competitions and I've recently purchased a crop field so I'm going to show you the crop field so this one is in resting state at the moment so crops should be irrigated daily unless it rains crops should be harvested before winter the longer your field is rested between plantings the greater your harvest will be if you get forget to irrigate your crop will become withered and you can use but you can use fertilizer to restore it so I sort of was like right well can I buy um, seeds to use for this so they're in the store um, in this aisle here so we've got crop seeds so we offer a variety of starter crop seeds for all year long seed is sold in 50 pound bags and each bag will cover 25 acres of crop field so back seeds cost 1000 so I've bought myself there's cotton soy wheat oats corn barley rye sorry rice and rye I bought myself one bag of oats to use but I can't plant it yet and I'll show you why so I'm just gonna quickly go to the upgrades here so I was sort of stuck between picking between a crop field, um, so this is obviously where you can harvest grain and the perfect blend of grain fed your horses can make their coat doppled. And then you've also got round pens and the round pens let you train your horses in groundwork so they will have more courage in the explorer and one round pen can train up to 10 horses per day. So I was trying to figure out which I would prefer and then I thought well the crop field at least I would be earning money from that hopefully. Um, so then I bought that one and I also then realised that I've got a pasture sitting there doing absolutely nothing, so I was like, well, couldn't I use that to plant hay? Well, I figured out why, so I went into the game guide here, so I'll show you where it is. So, we've got pastures, no, pastures are not what I want to look at, growing hay, and then crops and fields. So, the crops and fruit, crop fields and grain, so you may purchase crop fields and grow grain with them. There are eight different types of grain available. One of, once you harvest your grain, um, you can mix it with your granary if you're skilled at it, and you may produce a dapple brand. If you feed a dapple blend to your horses, the coats will become dappled, and the attack will last for a couple of days. And one pound of dapple blend is fed at a time. You can continually feed the grain if you like the nicest coat, or you like to keep the coat nice. So additionally, if you prefer to feed your horse grain instead of hay, or just want to supplement your horse's diet with grain, you can mix a health blend. This is a blend. This is a combination of any three three different types of grain. It will automatically be used up first when you feed your horses each week. So crop fields are used uh, are purchased on the grow page, and grain seed is available in the store. And that's where I got mine. And it's needed to plant your fields. So crop fields can be planted in the spring. So right now it's fall in the game, so I can't plant them yet. So that's why I haven't done that. So crop fields need to be irrigated every day unless it rains. If you miss a day, your crop will decrease, and the amount of grain you will harvest will decrease. To improve your crop uh, quality, use fertilizer on it. Fertilizer is available in the store also under the item section or in the member shop. So after 14 days your crop will be harvested and another important thing to note is that if you rest your fields for a while the soil will improve and you'll be able to reap greater harvests the next time you plant the field. So obviously there's those eight different grains that I showed you and a list of grain and nutritional values is found on the main grain page. The main grain page is located on the drop down menu of your stable page where it says mailbox. So I'll show you that in a minute because um, I found that and that's how I came across the hay stuff. So each grain has a different nutritional value and you can mix them to form a new blend. The goal is to produce a grain blend that has a nutritional value of 12% protein, 3% fat and 12% fiber. This is uh, quite challenging to do and you will likely need to combine several kinds of grain. If you achieve it, you will have a dapple blend. You'll be able to feed it to your horses which will cause their coat to dapple. So you can also convert your pure grain to seed to replant in the field with. You may also sell it, uh, seed in the member's shop and seeds appear in your item inventory. So you may buy and sell grain in, in store, so you, if you don't want to plant crops, you can purchase grain um, grown by others. And keep in mind that it will be a seller's market, as not as grown by the game itself. So you're relying purely on other players. So then in terms of growing hay, so if you own a pasture, you may use it for growing hay. The pasture should have no horse in it. When the spring arrives, there will be an option on the pasture page to sow hay. The hay takes 12 game days to grow before it can be harvested. Hay pastures have a concept called crop quality, which indicates strength of the harvest. If and it's based on the weather. 
So rainy days will cause the hay to grow and strengthen the harvest. Hot days will weaken the hay. Uh, there is a numer numerical value on the hay's pasture page representing uh, neutral is 10. Once your hay is ready to be harvested, the amount of hay you harvest is based on the crop quality. If you don't harvest your hay by winter, it will die and revert back to your horse's pasture. So the number of square round bales you'll harvest will vary based on your crop quality, which is affected by the weather conditions, and when you harvest hay, it will automatically add it to your hay stockpile. You may choose to say, sell hay in the store, and your best bet for selling hay is to work out the math and price it below the st uh, store stock prices. So these are two extra ways to like, make money in the game, and I sort of feel like I should have probably looked into these earlier on. So on this uh, stable page, if you go to this bit here, this is where you can click manage hay or manage grain. So I'll just go manage hay first. And you can see there's so much detail here, which I was just not aware of. Um, so this is your stable summary of hay needed to feed your horses. One feeding is the amount of hay needed to feed one horse for one game day. One hay bale will provide four feedings and one rain bale will provide 140 feedings and your horses on pasture will require less head to eat based on the quality of their pasture grass. There's a lot more information there as well. So if I go back to home page, then there is also the manage grain option as well. And this is where you can make sure your grain um, to try and make uh, the doppel blend. I can't do this yet because I don't have any, but I thought it was quite cool. And um, I'm going to try and come on when it's spring and uh, plant crops in. I'm going to put in oats and then I'm also going to put in the hay as well. I think I, if I have enough money by then I might buy another crop field as well to plant as well. So that's my plan right now and I thought I would show you that because that was sort of new to me. So thank you to Noah Self for requesting the video and also to Fabulous Tessa and for sending the nice crops. Bye!